will attack Talia. 25. Um, sure. Sure, I take that. All right, end of it. <sighs> well, death knell, yes, no. Uh, no. Okay, Valerian and Isakawa will rip into the boy. Uh, we'll give them... You monsters. What? What? <laughs> what? You undead monstrosities. 30, I think that's a crit. <laughs> yep, that is a crit from Larian. But he just got crit by me and then crit by Larian. Dead. Yeah. Which, if you attack him, it might be... Yes. So he is in definite range now, but uh, for the future, I do need you to establish a proper order, whether you go first or your summons go first. Yeah. Okay. But sure. assuming that the summons went first, he would now be in definite range for you. Okay. I'm just asking because the the thing definitely basically says that the DM is like should tell you yeah. when something is. Yes. So yeah, but but the the old uh, actually I guess summons would act after you. But for now, let, let's just do it whatever is more beneficial. I mean, technically, you could choose to delay after his summons. Yeah, that's true. I could order my summons to choose to delay after me. Uh, we'll we'll uh, we'll remove him. Goodbye. It's just it's just you can't shoot a spell, have your summons attack, and then defo, because you would be sw swapping turns back and forth. But that yeah. He dissipates in a puff uh, of smoke. 19 hit points of soul go into Hirandor. I mean, yeah. sure. You cannot Sigh. resist. <laughs> as, as, you, as you absorb He's part of this kid. Yep, you, you, it's, it's part of you now. Give up. It's happy times. And uh, then we'll destroy the last one with uh, a uh, giant of endings, shall we? That's what the rules say. The summon creatures always go after you. Okay. Always. Okay. Uh, yeah, that's it. Or a 33 damage. Staggered ghost. <laughs> Grab. Yep. I'll go here. I'll attack the ghost. Bam, that's that a natural 20. Oh, well, he dissipates then. Good. Done. Nice. Finally, he's a man. Somehow. As combat is over, but he will reappear sitting on the large arc behind you. Kind of his, his feet dangling over the edge, just kind of waving about as he is clapping towards you and smiling. Now the real yes. fight begins. Ho oh, oh. ho. As he says, great, good, good. Uh, well, not as good as I could have hoped. I was hoping I'd win, but size a bit. I, I would have won against the Great Silver, you know. I I would have. He nods. Sure. I'm sure. Well, I suppose, see you around. He disappears. Anakin shrugs. Well, I suppose we should return. Talk to his mother. Mm -hmm. mm. Hope that whatever ghostly connection they have actually works and that she's not just repeating the same things ad nauseum. Does uh, the brazier stay lit? The brazier stays lit and unaffected by all of this. Okay. I would like to have a look at it if I could. There sure isn't a doom in here though. Mm. Yeah. No, I don't see. Do we have like a. Is it like an indentation in the ground with Doom Lay? You know. Uh, yes. Give me a indentation. Give me a perception check from Enrican, like sort of ground investigation. <laughs> ground investigation as the ground, check. <laughs> as the, the the ground here and such isn't as clean as this battle map might convey. It's it's littered with debris and even bones here and there, scattered pottery, broken chairs and all those all those sorts of menace. Nah, I don't. Even if there was a doom, I don't know. It's never been there. Was it there? There are plenty of scratch marks all over the city. There's no indication that something large was sitting here. Yeah, this is probably not the place. 
Interesting. Well, I'm so ready to return. Is that a, another but, Colosseum? But if someone wanted to look at the blue flame, I guess now's the proper time to do it. Mm hmm. Tani will certainly move towards this gigantic blue flame. <laughs> Yeah, the, the flame is oh, wavering, moving about in winds that really aren't there. Winds that seem to be coming, at least according to the flame, from the center of the Colosseum. Hmm. I suppose one thing Tyler would want to do here is essentially well, kind of reach out, kind of reach out with her magic and her mind to try and feel this flame and try to work out something about it. See, we'll see what she can find out by just kind of looking over the flame with her own power. Okay, uh, I'm I'm not going to require a roll from you for that, as you're standing basically where the wind that is moving the flame should be coming from. You do very, very much feel it. A, a breeze that is not on the physical, but sort of energy streaming out of some sort of source in the center, a hole perhaps. Something that feels very, very familiar to at least part of Talia. She can't really identify, well, why or which part or whatever that means, but something comfortable almost. Hmm. So I'm just gonna look towards the center and try to and just try to consider, though, you know try and work out what this feeling could be within her, even if yeah. You know, in the end even if she has no idea, just kind of truly considering for now. It's it's the sort of feeling that you might get if I could make a completely inappropriate uh, analogy for the setting. A, after walking through deep snow for an hour, returning into a, a warm, heated chamber, the smell of cinnamon, you know, that sort of happy home feeling almost. Isn't there a German word for something like that? I'm pretty sure there is. Yeah, but I wouldn't understand it. <laughs> if there is. Pro probably is. There's a word for everything. <laughs> Wise philosophy. <laughs> I suppose Tyler will kind of move then towards the center of the room, just kind of place her hand on the floor a little bit, like wherever it seems to, you know, be the strongest for her, that feeling. Uh, well, doing that, give me a, a magical background check with your wisdom, a sort of magical perception check, if you will. Sure, I can do that. Uh, five level, five background, five wisdom. <laughs> Uh, well, sensing the floor here, you realize two things. One, the fact that this seems to just be looking like any other place in the city, full of debris and like some vegetation, like rotten plants. That's not really there. That's just an illusion. The real fact is that what Enrican was trying to spot is exactly here, but hidden. Hmm. An illusion that is easily dispelled by, by Talia now that she knows that it's there, revealing what you might expect. Not exactly an in, 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 indentation in the floor, but a sort of erosion that has radiated out from a center. The, the rocks crumbling into dust, into gravel, the, the plants just, well, there weren't any plants to begin with. The wood that might have been laying there turned into ash as if, well, it almost looks like a crater more than anything else. And in that crater, signs of claws, of a large tail that has rested here for years, decades. A tail that has not moved, as you can clearly t see the outline almost. You can see where the, where the tips of the talons have touched the rock and disintegrated deep furrows into it. To give you a sense of the scale, it's basically this entire area. And in addition to that, to Talia, she senses also that there's not only a crater in the, the physical world, something caused by a, a rotting force like 
for example. The Doom could be. But something that is causing these winds, that is causing the, the, the flame to waver, and most likely also fueling the flame. The Feywild, perhaps? Feels very much like that. Mm. It feels to Talia as if whatever portal might have been here, might have been used to spirit away whatever left this large crater. Uh, not entirely closed yet. In fact, it wasn't really intentionally closed, probably, but more like a landslide that left a ti the tiniest of holes still. Mm. Before saying anything to anyone, Talia is then just going to kind of hot her hand slightly and using her wizard, using her wizard cantrip, create a small flame to see if it interacts at all with the area around her, or if it seems to get blown by any ethereal breeze. Yes. The blue flame burning in her palms. Well, even even brighter than perhaps Talia intended. Hmm. She kind of moves her back, but she kind of moves her own hands away a bit, trying to avoid the her own embers. Kind of then just looking towards the even larger fire, and just kind of considering for quite a few moments more. Before she will begin to speak. Well, as as the theory was went that maybe the Fae was involved here, it's it's undoubtedly true. Ty kind of looks around at all the rubble and everything that's now caused me revealed by the spell delusion. There's remnants here, a hole where a portal used to be and then has fallen in on itself, keeping this flame alive and making my own far brighter than I expected. Though this did not give me what I wanted, answer to why my flame is like this. Nearly this is making me have more questions now. move back towards here, still holding the flame in her hands. Does the flame look like it's like healthy at the moment, or does it look like it's going, you know, might go out soonish? Uh, well, give me a... basically the same roll again. Uh, the flame looks like it's pretty healthy. It's not filling the entire brazier, so it might have been well, bigger at some point, and going slowly, just becoming less, but not anytime soon. Mm. Talia will have a a conflicted smile as she approaches again. But in a sense, I suppose Talia is going to, in a way, kind of take her take the own tiny little flame she had and just kind of add it to the brazier. In a sense, just kind of let it float up and go inside. Probably making no difference at all, but hey, it feels right. Mm. Yeah, the flame is just absorbed. Redrawing her stay from her back. Well. Kind of looks back to everyone. At least I, I am pretty sure in the fact that we don't need to use the scroll to work out if our energies are here, though. I am sure of it. Yes. Seems the dragon was telling the truth. Uh, so. looks up the flame, and he will ask our darling, uh, "Do you know why it is there?" The brazier? Yeah. Kind of looks at it. 
if I remember, the brazier was the brazier has always has always been a part of this Colosseum. It was here signalling when these great events happened, and, and uh, I suppose in, in a way, in a cold location like this, a beacon in the darkness. Hmm. The beacon in the cold. Though it was, you know, once orange, like the flame should be. <clears throat> uh, it has been uh, staying lit for hundreds of years without anyone feeding wood on it. Exactly. As soon as, soon as this, after what happened to Sterling Hold from that day, the, f the flame changed colour apparently, and it stayed burning ever since. That would suggest that the Fey had something to do with what happened. It does. Well, that they've been working on this for a very, very long time. So perhaps now it is a big one for uh, more than next this phase. place. Yes, the next phase of their plan, perhaps. Mm. Wonder where. Interesting. Though, why, why, why an illusion to cover this place like he was never here? It sort of perplexes me now. Perhaps to cover the fact that he disappeared. I think that is more obvious by eye, though, than needing to cover the ground. Unless our goal was to make them think he never existed in the first place. Maybe. Regardless, perhaps this scroll we're going to go find will show something of use. <clears throat> yes, maybe. It's a Perhaps scroll so, mainly yes. to track the scythe, right? Shrug you. That was scholars our... wanted, so we will get it for them. That is what I was told, at least. Anakin frowns. Was I lied to? We were only Why? fine exploring. Why are you looking for that scythe? You keep on bringing it up, I believe. Garenka looks over. Yes, it is something I have been looking for for years. I am not sure, but I believe it is instrumental in answering well, what is going on and help stopping it. I am not exactly sure, because all of the knowledge surrounding the scythe are first of all very old and second of all has been tried to be erased by the golds and the silvers and other agents of some sort of cause tracking it is difficult i almost came to blows with amaranth over it now that that's what it was about <laughs> well uh if it is that powerful, and you think you can control it? Powerful, yes. Control, perhaps. I have controlled a lot of dangerous energies recently, and it has gone well. My confidence is high. It waits mm. for me. I know it. And I must find it. Yes, you are clearly growing stronger. Just beware. Overconfidence can be just as much of a danger. I, I only hope we don't become them. what we fight. We are moving yes. into fighting a foe that is beyond any of us. We need all the help we can get, and risks must be taken. This is my firm belief. <clears throat> well... It is a, a quest for all of us to find some balance, I suppose. By the way, notice uh, Tim living and <laughs> Tim dead over there. 
<clears throat> yeah. This weird sad in you. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Uh, yeah. For now, we need the scroll, so. Suppose let's move on. I suppose we've done what's done and see if that lady is, oh, is, is, has left. Yep. And gone to a different world. Otherwise, I have, I have something for her. <laughs> God has destroyed his headset. <laughs> <laughs> the voice of God does no longer. The world has stopped turning. The ears of God have died. God. Yeah. But you don't understand. Without the voice Wait. of God, the world will not change. No, no the, it is not frozen. We can have the voice. It is yeah, frozen in God time. Not hear us. God cannot hear us. Maybe that is the problem. We're in prison with a madman now. Things will no. change without us having any control. It is time to we panic. Can, <laughs> we can fight one another. That we can do. That we mm. can. That is the only way out, is to destroy each other. <laughs> yes. There can be only one. <laughs> yep. Uh -huh. Well, be this Herondor, I'm dragon. sorry, but... Herondor! Black Bolt of I mean, Disaster! We all, we all start by no. taking him out, right? <laughs> Motherfuckers! Uh, and then you. I mean, that, that missed, so... It did, otherwise it would have actually one-shotted you in your current state if it had actually yeah, hit. Yeah, in my current I mean, state, I mean, I, 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 mean I, have, I have something that would be quite easy to use against um, Anakin, at least, which uh, would just basically make you hampered so you can't use any magic. Yep, that would shut me down completely. The problem is it doesn't do any damage, though, so I could only hamper you. Well, it doesn't need to. You can just walk up and hit yeah. me in the face after that. Well, the thing is, you might, the thing is, you can recover in the rounds while I'm hitting you. Well, I guess. I don't know. You, any, anyone in the group, even like even Edeling could easily defeat Anakin in melee. It's just hack him down. But if I'm working with someone, though, yeah, I can damage, block, damage I can block. is pretty. Yeah, but I terrible. like. Uh, you know, it's uh, an average of eight. Right now? I presume. Yeah, uh, there we go. So, That's know. bad. What? Uh, we, we, were, we were discussing how we would kill each other. Yeah. He can't hear us. That's why he asked. <laughs> oh god, hello? 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 <laughs> okay, I can, I can hear you on my left side. Hello? Hey, we're trying to reach you. <laughs> hello? You're, you're not helping. <laughs> well, welcome, welcome to the player's database system. Pick if you're looking, up you're looking for Manakai, press the one. purse. I, I I went I went to my fridge to get a drink and my fridge is exactly like ten centimeters too far away to com comfortably get there with my headset. I mean, I once again yanked at the cord and now I think I've buggered it up. Have you plugged <laughs> it out and put it in again? It's <laughs> it's it's not the actual plug. It's like the it's like one of those cornered plugs, like one of those sideway plugs. What? I have no idea what you're talking it, about. It, do, it doesn't go straight, it goes like, it goes around the corner. Like, I, I, okay, so it's <laughs> the, the plug right, goes around the corner, yes? Okay, yeah, I think I get yeah, it. No, I get what you mean, I get what you it's mean. It's an L plug. Okay. Yes, an yeah, L plug. Yeah. And if I, if I squeeze the end of it, I can kind of hear you. But <laughs> Alright, so do that, I suppose. For the keep entire keep for squeezing. The entire rest of the session. Yeah, um... Just huh. do speakers and... Let it echo. I, Let I our voices no boom. No. The real God voice. Well, you I... don't have to speak. That's not our fault. It's true. Play by post. It's, it's still your problem, though. <laughs> uh, that is also true. The most railroady game where the players can't actually respond to what the game is saying. <laughs> it's just, it just it's happens. Just, uh, they'll have to go choose, along with it. Choose your own adventure. Yeah. It's like... Do you pick up the purse? Ooh, do you your token. Back? Where do you go? No, uh, you have okay. three choices. Flip well, to page 25. That's sad. Uh, what comes next will take a while, so maybe it's not a terrible idea to stop early, I'm afraid. No, oh, no. But, but, no, but, 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 advance. but, uh, but, the, but the library sheep and the mysteries. You know, the mystery will remain there until next week. Uh, I want see. mystery. I can. No, we we can't do an extra session tomorrow because uh, no, Lee Peldemir like wasn't going to be there. Yep. I'm also not going to be here because I'm at the wedding tomorrow. Oh right, yeah. Mm. <laughs> do you not have like headphones? That, I like, I have nothing. I I have. Playback? I have the bare minimums. I'm I'm not <laughs> home basically. If I'm, you I'm okay. in my... if you have if you have like a smartphone, maybe you can use. Those headphones. Yeah, that's what I mean. Like, 
Like literally earphones. I mm. no, I, I don't have any. It depends if if he has separate like microphone and and. Well, I guess yeah. I guess. I mean, if it's like a, a three point five so. mil, yeah, it's like a three and a half mil oh. uh, audio jack. Oh, you're gone again, Red. Oh, oh dear! <laughs> we cannot hear our protests. <laughs> God is deaf to our prayers. No, I heard, I heard, I heard. Not cheap, right? Then level up, right? Yeah, level six, up. yes, I uh, do believe. Yeah. Oh, that's awesome. interesting. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah. Yeah. In the level, he uh, he saw what was going oh, on. Oh wait, there. oh wait, he thought we did so much. Two levels. Oh, oh yeah, oh. seven. Oh. Ten campaign over. Oh, oh. Well, <laughs> we're done. S since my since my microphone is not related to my answer, I can still talk, I guess. Hooray! Uh, let's see. We since I didn't really get uh, words. Get to using your relationship dice in the way that I thought I could and should. We'll not roll these this session because I still got plenty and you've still got plenty. Mm -hmm. uh, consider well, if you can think of a use for them. Chances are, you know, I, I don't want to spoil things, but maybe you leave Sterling Hold at some point and it would be nice to know what you plan to do next. Uh, you have mentioned going to Grimskill to the port there, but. The more specifics I can get, the better. What's well, your plan? Let, let us tell you right now what we're planning. <laughs> <laughs> uh, in excruciating detail. <laughs> you get an incremental advance. Because I think you deserve it. Uh, yes. But no full heat up yet. Okay. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I level up a spell of some sort. Uh, mm. So what are we going to do next, guys? <sighs> We're gonna go to Grimskill because I have a thing I need to do there. They have some crystal leaves that I need for a thing. So excuse me, <laughs> that sounds so ominous. <laughs> Are we? Is there something I need to know about? It's just an amulet I need to fix, a broken thing that I was okay. given like fucking like second session or something like that. Alright, sure. And I finally, I've got it into a place where I can actually get it. So that's Everyone. something we should do. And uh, uh, then we can sail to oh, wherever we want in the world, really, because it's a giant port town. So. Uh, the question is, are we going to pass through Dragonhall first? Okay, you're back. Pass through Dragonhall yeah, first? Yeah. We are kind of close to Dragonhall, and I was thinking maybe take a peek at it, but it's as far as I know of that place, it is Death Incarnate. So it might not be a good idea to actually... Coming from the Necromancer! Yes. Did, have you, did you read like, the story, sir? <laughs> I don't know what we would hope to find there, except for more fey wolves and stuff like that. Like... At this point, I think we know well enough about what's going on in this place to go find the damn scythe and and the rest of our other leads and and, and get that done. I don't, we don't don't know where it is though. Um, mm -hmm. But getting to civilization will be will be nice. One thing. Uh, the question is where we would go from there. Like we could go to the jewel sands and like try to find that uh, warlord they've been fighting but I mean another thing we could do is just check out what's going on with all those wilders attacking everyone I yeah I guess I don't know it's killing those mm, personally like dragon I fights would like to know where the scroll will point me in regards to the scythe and uh, and depending on where it points me that's probably where I would want to go uh, mm -hmm. I still have strong reservations against the elves for similar reasons that I, you know, brought before. Uh, the wilders, yeah, we could go and mess them up, but wouldn't Teach that? Lesson. Wouldn't what would that Let entail? Would we just go to a forest and start hacking our way through the forest? I'll go to desperate defense in the end and fight. I, oh, I still using this rare moment kill, of actually being kill. able to hear you. You. Do know that that Tirando would be potentially able to to track down Wilders if you wanted to go on a hunting trip. Well, I, I mean, if they I need to be tracked know. down. So you're suggesting the Wilder route? No, know. it's more like if they were attacking human places, we could go on. like stop. I don't know. I I still also think that we need to start gathering allies for the big fight. Mm. Yep. I don't think the um. the humans really like. Going to the Yars land, but I think he's gonna be in just by the fact that he's at people are being attacked. Like, yeah, 
Maybe well, we like, go up we to go, we go to Grimskill, we can even be like like send these scholars and such to go talk to him, right? I ma- imagine that we might form like the Silver Order or something like with them here. People, the people scale. in the know, you know, like this is the goal is to stop the big bad thing from happening. You know? Yeah. And then they can go and talk to them. Because I don't think again the yard's gonna be too difficult to I mean they are right there attacking his people. So he really is sort of de facto in on it. Uh, another thing to consider is that Grimskull is a pretty damn well, not as big as some other cities, but certainly an important city. Which means that it has things such as a, a Cloud Dragon post. It has emissaries from the Grey. It has even magical ways to contact the bigger cities. Although those services would, of course, be expensive. Which, of course, well, you you are rich, basically. We're not, though. We haven't gotten Are we? <laughs> lately. We are actually quite poor, Com- I think. Compared to the average Joe, you are still uh, very rich. What I would love to do would be somehow get the people of the outside are interested in messing up, like, the Wilders. Mm-hmm. Just have, like, people with guns fucking <laughs> hunting them down. That would be great to me. Like, the Could big game hunter make... guy, right? The British guy with the lion mm-hmm. thing on his... Like, I do hat. say! Yeah. Oh, <laughs> oh, no, Big tenon and bull. Is the turn here and door into a tank? Like, a literal tank? I mean, gun. if we go, I, I have Cannon. a, you know, I have a suggestion in that case. Oh, and you're gone. Right. If we go to Crimson <laughs> Peak, we can do things to Hurandor that would make him very Death Okay, amazing. now you're scaring me again. Now you're scaring no, me No, 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 it's just the, the, the steam and lava forges of uh, Crimson Peak could do Huge much. Scales. Yes. And inscribed with the proper arcane symbols. Blood is power, uh, Herandor. Like an animated piece of armor. Blood is life. Blood she only is God. I mean. <laughs> Herandor just <laughs> uh, <laughs> putting his head to his, his side like, hmm. Uh, this all hmm. sounds like either oh, like creepy, but I'm not. I'm not sure if it's the way you guys are phrasing it or not. <laughs> Gilgad is shaking his head. Yeah, they've been doing this for <laughs> a long time now. It's been so long. Save me from them. It just seems like a really long trip to sail to like Jasper Field. Now, I guess the Free City would be where you'd sail to, and then go yeah. walk to Crimson Peak. I don't know. It's a long it's, trip. It's I guess uh, it's a fool's hope at this point. I just I just really want to visit Crimson Peak because I think it's such a cool place. Mm-hmm. I totally agree. I think we totally do that. I mean, it's going to be a bit hot for Arendelle's taste, but I suppose we can put up with it, right? I mean, I don't know if you have... Like, I would go there because of a few reasons. I would like to get rid of this cursed dagger or hopefully replace it with something it's better. Cursed. Yes. <laughs> yeah, he takes damage every time he uses it or something. Yep, yep, it drains life from me. Yeah, I, I as know, I said, I this. blood is life. But in this game, cursed items usually have like a really strong benefit to them as well. No, no, it doesn't. No, no. What How does it? Hello? It mainly drains my life. Hello? That's that's the that's the quirk. Otherwise, it's a plus two weapon. Mm-hmm. If the we dagger, went, if we went, if we sailed to the free city, we could also hit up those two sisters who are supposed to have the rest of my weapon. Oh right, yeah, we uh, can I go and get that back. I can pick front. that up on the mm-hmm. way. I okay, think Sheep yeah. can hear us and he wants to say something yes, while he ca- can kind hear of. us. Yeah, Jonas, yeah. it, it's a plus two weapon, a champion tier weapon that you got at like level two. So yeah, but I'm level, a champion now. But I'm, I'm a champion now, so I don't. I need to get rid of this and get a proper one. <laughs> That's true. You're so spoiled. <laughs> uh, I get don't... The scythe of it. That's that's the weapon. The scythe is what I want, but I don't know if I'm going to find clues of it. That's what I'm saying. I don't know where I want to go, because if this points me towards the scythe, I'm going to go towards that. Also, uh, speaking of the free city, I don't know if I can actually hear you right now, but I'll just talk. Uh, You have met with with Charlotte there, who has said that she could always find ways for you to make friends by doing favors that she was requested 
by other people. Of course, the, the offers she has made you in the past are probably not really relevant anymore because time a lot of time has passed. But yeah. So going to Grimskill then and sailing from there to the Free City, deals a minor business there, and then going to Crimson Peak. Where we would do something or other. Maybe she maybe Charlotte will have like something we can do there to gain friends. Yeah, maybe. My my main thing is go for the scythe. If I don't know where the scythe is, well, Crimson Peak. <laughs> yeah, Crimson Peak All is right. like number two on the list. And then after that, I don't know. I could uh, if if we have a if we have a good reason to go anywhere else, I can certainly be convinced. I suppose. It sounds uh, like next session we'll want to go to, or next time we go, we'll want to go to Grimskill first at least. Yes. To. Uh, to find a boat. I mean, if we if we really think that the elves really really need help and and that the cult uh, cult of Granith is still strong there, that's certainly a reason for us to go there and smack things. The going the after it, going after uh, I'm just gonna uh, just gonna finish. If yeah. going for the wilders, that seems like a fool's errand to me. I like the idea of smacking them around and putting them in their place, but the wilder wood is gigantic. And we have no way of fighting all of the wilders. Like, it would be us going against mm -hmm. the force of nature, almost. And I think that is a waste of time, ultimately. There are many other people to fight that fight. So the way I suggest is basically to kind of recruit people in our way. Basically, as we go to uh, Grimm's Jill, I guess. Uh, there is the Yarl somewhere around. So we could, you know, look for that and then go to the Fridge City and look for the artist, then to the enemy, uh, mm -hmm. then outsider, then the elfing, kind of, you know, make a path and pick him up the, as we go uh, along. Yeah, are we gonna try to convince the architect or are we just gonna leave him? Um, I mean, that would be our dear uh, wizard cleric Thurge's uh, mm -hmm. job because she's actually liked with him another free fugitive. Wow, no. that's uh, that's unusual. I, I, have, I have a single positive dice. <laughs> You're like the most liked person of the architect we have. The the, or, the oracle or, the, or, the oracle is more complex. Where is the oracle? The oracle couldn't. She's she nothing. was in in like Arden Crest. She couldn't beat a, ba a band of bandits herself because all her she's like a lot of unarmed. Wait. Like, people. She was an ardent crest. Yeah. Uh, well, she lives. Was, wasn't exactly mm. there then, but you know, we, we, we just weren't important enough to really meet her. I guess. Oh, yeah, I should. What was that sheep? Responding to what Halimir says in the chat. Ah. Uh. Uh. I don't know. That's the most efficient way I see it now. If we indeed have some, you know, very certain uh, location for either, you know, solid information or. Uh, I, I the like the idea of going of to, to Grimskill, trying to spread the word and such. I don't think we're going to stay there too long, though, and then to sail sail to a free city and meet with Mrs. Uh, Mrs. Plothook and uh, <laughs> see what's going on. In That's my places. name, Mrs. Plothook. Welcome. <laughs> no, I won't remember her name, but. Charlotte. And then also get the last piece of my weapon because I want to talk to that thing. I you know, you know because what? Like, you, you know what? It I said think? that it had a secret stash you know, of awesome items, but it, it was like mm, I think? but I won't tell you where it is. Though. You know what I think? Like, it's like come on, dragon, don't leave me on like that. You know what I think? Uh, you know my theory? My theory is that spy lady who has the daggers which are the hilt of your sword. My theory is that she is the jack. Smiling. I don't know. What? Yeah. She's an icon, though? Yeah. Oh, how are we going to beat her? Take it from her. <laughs> that's what oh, I mean. We it's... can't. Yeah. <laughs> I think that's doomed. Well, maybe she'll give them to me. Yeah, maybe. Champion of humanity. Yeah. You know? But you're dead. How are you? <laughs> she she was very adamant that we would, f if we ever found that blade, that we would give it to her. Then she would give it to me, though. We'll find her and talk to her about it. Have a nice civil conversation. The adventure away. And the Jack is going to let us go after that, yeah. I don't guess, I mean, the way I see it, there may be a lot of going around and, you know, 
back and forth in kind. I still think talking to, to her would be a good idea. Basically present there was lots of things to do. Yeah, I mean, having that's... things to pick from is nice, you know. Especially if one of them is like, someone has been reaping souls in mass <laughs> with a scythe. <laughs> it's weird. Well, huge swaths of land have been cut down, it's almost like uh, with go. a scythe. Uh, you won't yes. go there. It's a grand castle. Oof. Huge scythe marks in the it's, land. It's on the grey scale, the island of the grey, where. Everyone's incredibly boring. Oh, <laughs> well, you know, wonderful. they can probably get reaped over there. That's probably fine. <laughs> we'll we'll wait on the beach. Yes, that's <laughs> put up a t like a. Yeah, he's done. He can come uh, over here. Uh, uh, the sun chair. Just sit there with a drink. Like ah, that damn thing is somewhere. Like in the unspeakable vault, right? Yes. Maybe finding the vault is what you. I. That's what I. That's what I want to talk yeah. to the mother of Amaranth because it was like she created the scythe she must know where it is she doesn't want to talk to us I know we have fixed things we can force it out is, of her is that the only demand though that we fix the thing you know where the uh, well she was like right? as long as I'm dead uh, you know if I had been alive I would have granted you everything you wanted but now fuck you you stole my soul I'm like well because apparently as long as she's dead she has a sort of a big part of the power and the artifact is hers but if we put more in it, the artifact allegedly, as I understood it at least, will take uh, control. Will become stronger, mm -hmm. and so we can negotiate it with that, which is much more amiable because we didn't reap its soul. Yeah, well, um, allegedly. Mm -hmm. I need to get rid of yeah. my dagger. I want the enemy can destroy it for me. I know that for a fact. He's good at destroying things, and then I can get something new, like a scythe. I mean, uh, yeah. I mean, it's cursed, so I guess that's a problem. Probably for it in the in the magic forge there or something like that. I have a I have a contact. His name is like. I mean, we could stop in by Arden Crest. There's, but I don't really want to talk to that dragon. No, after we kill that's mother. No, Amaranth no. doesn't like me. It's an awkward. She almost. She likes fancy, but no. She, she also almost attacked me for asking questions. She's not. She's not very free information. That dragon, you know, she's not very no. free speech. I gotta say. I'm very upset. Yeah, so, so free city, I suppose. They're the not gonna be <laughs> hippies and hipster hipsters in there. Just no, I don't think we're gonna beat her up unless she starts anything. Then you know, then I'm, 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 I can rock and sounds, roll. Sounds like Grimskill, Free City, them to the Crimson Peak, or wherever we figure out. I mean, I mean, if anyone knows anything, you'd imagine it'd be in Free City, right? Like, but they, there isn't. All the fucking really weirdos. That's the thing. There. That's the thing. I I scoured that place when we were there, and everyone was like, "Oh, the scythe! Oh, it is so mysterious. Do you know how mysterious it is? Very." And then they just <laughs> roll. The and you're like, "Yeah, exactly." It was basically that was going on, and I was like, "Oh my god, you people!" So we need we need the sword to talk, basically. That seems. Yeah, I I was hoping that that Sterling Hall would hold some answers because the scythe was used here. It was created for this area, uh -huh. to to make it like full of life and happiness and stuff. It it might still have some answers, but I was hoping the library would. As I be understood, the scroll was like a prophetic scroll, right? It would, but that's it would yeah. tell us that's where I we're going and who we're fighting. I need in to get some sense into the forbidden in parts sense, of this but library. Maybe there's more information in the secret oh, yeah. part of the library. Maybe that's there's what I'm a lot many yeah. like a that's lot I more need, books. I need I need I need to get in there. You have a die with the doom that you have. I have I used that yes for a specific purpose. Okay. Like I on think the way. You know, if she what? remembers it, but uh, it was it was for last but session I used. Always it. give always give sheep a text document. Oh, I I totally I sent things, but I don't know if he remembers. Has he answered them? No. No, he did, but okay. it, all this, it was like yes, I'll do that, and then that was two weeks ago. So. Oh, what what was it? I don't know. I haven't I haven't recognized anything yet. Oh. Well, you can. Him. Like, by the way, mm -hmm. is that still a thing, or should I think of a different use? And like, no, it's still a thing. It's cool. Yeah. Mm. I'm considering one thing. It's I technically do have the spell "Speak with Item," which is an interesting spell. Speak with item. I mean, I can speak with this item, but it's being yeah. a bitch constantly. It is. It's a bitchy <laughs> sword. Well, the item yeah. is nice enough. It's How like yes, deal with that order, though? and then she's like. Mm. No. I still have my free will. Fuck you. I'm like, I, I probably get a bit of a headache trying to speak with this item. 
She would look at you and fucking tease you about all the stuff she knows that she won't tell you about. You'd be like, I but, can but we have that you. once per day power to make her talk, basically. Mm-hmm. Act for the item to access her knowledge about something. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, that's like item or magic created. And that's allegedly supposed to be stronger when we when we fuse it. So mm-hmm. I hope that someone won't take it from me. You know, we could we could make a good case for keeping it, but she was very adamant to get that thing. Huh. Well, we can be pretty adamant. We certainly can. We certainly can. We're going down, you're going down with us. <laughs> Take you with me. Mm. There's that spell. That <laughs> yeah. La- the, the, last the last of the, of the wine. wine. Yep. Like, yep. That's the take you with me spell. Yep. Like, ah, I will die, but so will you. Ah, it's great. I'm going to definitely pick it. <laughs> it's, it's so. I never ever use it's it. It's so necromancy, though. It's yeah. perfect. Like gaze upon my true visage. <laughs> the head just explodes yep. as you melt. Yep. Yep. Well, incremental advances. So yep. Yeah. Yeah. We'll pick a spell. No, I didn't want to take my one. I'm not sure either. I want to upgrade a spell that I'm, that's good, but I already. I'm thinking that I like the I like the ghoul uh, mooks better than the zombie mooks. The zombie mooks are pretty bad. The ghoul mooks can give uh, like uh, vulnerability to things, but I already used my summon on death spell, so I, so I would upgrade it and not be able to use it. Not, not so fun. Where's the wave of decay? But that's crazy good. Wave of decay is really good. Uh-huh. A feat could be could be gained. That's what I picked. Just don't know what feat it would be. Like do some shuffling around. What feat did you get? You uh, the get. one that doubled the healing for my um, death knell. Oh yeah. Yep. Very useful. Yeah, Laren has a good idea. Maybe we can we can mm. like uh, douse the sword in love potion. What? Yeah. Make the sword oh, love you. Oh, make the dragon fall in love. Yeah. Me. Make love to the sword, and we can then I would tell you. <laughs> oh. Wait, no, boy. no, 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 no. It's that a sword. Ha- that sounds like a bad idea. No, this actually comes from yeah. It falls in love with the sword itself. Oh. I love myself. I am so amazing. Reflect me in the mirror again. Put me back in the scabbard. Oh, yes. I like it when I slide in. <laughs> it's just it's late. Uh, this, 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 this how would a sword make love to itself? That is how it, that is how it would do it. Tell me I'm wrong. <laughs> well, I'm going to go to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh. oh, you people. You're all <laughs> so close-minded. <laughs> I will go to my friends at DeviantArt. <laughs> I know what I'm talking about. Wonderful <laughs> swords. Awesome. <laughs> uh. you, you see something. And you're like, I have so many questions, but I don't know. I don't want to know the answer. At least that's happened to me a few times. Certainly don't have enough answers. I don't judge, I just don't yeah. understand. <laughs> but I don't have to. <clears throat> anyway. I think I'm the host of the call? Maybe. Maybe. So, uh, We're about to find out! We'll die when I leave. So yeah. yeah. Good night, everybody. Good night. Good night. And there's my sheeple. Unavailable to us for a little bit. I, I guess, yeah. 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 Oh. Well, Talk thank you, you everyone for watching. We will see you not tomorrow because there is no session tomorrow. Uh, might be streaming Maybe. tomorrow. Not sure. Question mark. It depends. I guess if Halloween Bye. comes comes back at a decent time and he is still energized, maybe we'll play something. I don't know. 
I don't know. I've got a pretty long day. I'm going to be out from like midday onwards. So, mm. yeah, don't don't hold your breath. Basically, is what we're saying. Uh, if there is something, you'll get a message, no doubt. Uh, but yeah. See, whoa. That, hello. Yes, hello. Let's finish that goodbye. Yes. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> we're back with goodbyes. Right. Yes, yeah, sorry, I was just confirming something with Mel. <laughs> oh, that's rough. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, man. Oh, it's terrible. Gracious. Yeah, so basically don't hold your breath for a session, uh, for a stream tomorrow, but there yes. might be something. Who knows? It's uh, like a 20% chance, maybe. Yeah, it's, it's not going to be guaranteed. For okay. sure. Uh, well, oh, uh. uh, yeah. Thanks for watching. For the third time I'm saying that now. Stream <laughs> is ending. See you next week. Bye.